And here's something curious. Jacob, Jacob. Notice he's calling him Jacob and not Israel. And he, and he'll do that repeatedly in this chapter. Um, and the rabbis actually, they, they, they make a pretty, pretty big deal of this, that he's calling him Jacob um, and not Israel, because now he's getting to a point where it turns out, if you remember, Israel is he who contends or wrestles with God and man and one out. And so the rabbis say, well, he's calling him Jacob here because there isn't going to be a reason to wrestle with God and man, like you've wrestled with God. God has settled you in the land. God has made you these promises. Look at, you know, look at the look at the lineage. Look at all of the children and the grandchildren you have, you know, 70 of them. Like, like you don't have to contend any longer. There's no reason to wrestle. It's time to go back. Uh, it's time to go out of your land and into Egypt to be with your family. And of course, we know that this all sets us up for uh, for the book of Exodus as well.